after Ooh. the final pour. We made it, yeah. Brandon. We, did. <laughs> we made it to another one. It was a long journey. <laughs> yeah, it's a real long journey. What was the last time we did this? A couple weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, that was fun. That was, the, I, you know, I, well, going back and listening to that, I remember I, it's, it's like patchy. Uh, my memory is patchy until I listened to the recording. So that was kind of nice to go through that and listen to us talk about the Legro beer, which was good. I, I would try. I feel like we might have it, it. Maybe it came off. We were being a little harsh on the beer, but it was a good beer. It wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah no, I remember us. I mean, I, I remember like it. It was very reminiscent of like a, a Guinness esque. But like, again, I think I had said like it's not a stout I would go back to sure. um, like normally, um, but still good beer. And then so when we released the episode, I went to their website and I was kind of looking at the other stuff that they have and they've got IPAs and stuff like that. And yeah, we had actually mentioned that on the, yeah. After the final board. Yeah, I, actually, think, I think we looked it up during the episode, but yeah, I would be totally interested end. in like trying their other stuff. But, you know, when I was at Benny's, that's the only thing I saw. But if you were at Whole Foods, you were yeah, at Whole Foods. Foods. Sorry. Yeah. Come on, sorry. don't change your story. <laughs> yep, organic. Yeah. So if um yeah. if I'm at Whole Foods again and I see their other brands, I'll pick up a four pack or yeah, whatever they, it's sold in. Yeah. They co- they commented on our on our post and they said, you know, being compared to uh Guinness in Ireland is not that bad. And I agree. I guess that that's yeah. not a that's not an insult at all. Uh but yeah, I'm it glad they be. No, definitely. But I'm glad they I'm glad they, they apparently they checked it out. So that's cool. Thanks, Legro. Uh if you guys ever want to talk more about your beers, let us know. Maybe we'll reach out to you guys. That'll be cool. Maybe we'll do yeah. uh you know, meet up with you guys with the organic. But that's not that's oh sorry, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I was gonna say, I mean, that's actually a good point because like reading the history, it was like I think it's like two brothers that got together not the two brothers but yeah no, no, no. but like two brothers that um were thinking about organic type stuff and kind of formed this so um it would be interesting to kind of you know talk to them there's a great there's a great rick and morty reference i could have gone there with the two brothers it's it, have you ever watched rick and morty brandon yes oh okay and the two brothers thing it's, it's very funny <laughs> uh that's what popped into my head two brothers it's just it's just two brothers it's called two brothers um uh, but tonight we're we're drinking something else and it's kind of nice you know why because we normally we normally do these on a sunday night uh or, or a weeknight and and we decided that tonight it's friday night you and i are actually recording an episode tomorrow yeah <laughs> <laughs> so let's do it after the final pour. Uh, we decided a Friday night would be fun, and, and I'm happy because why not drink a bourbon barrel aged beer <laughs> on a Friday, right? And we were this close, this close, so very close to drinking a different bourbon barrel aged beer uh, that we've been holding on to that's near and dear that uh, we will be talking about at a, uh, a later date, uh, totally. sooner than sooner than later, but later than now. Uh, and we decided to do something different, and uh, we are uh, Brandon. Why don't you why don't you tell tell the kids as I like to. <laughs> to say on these tell the kids tell the kids what we're drinking tonight tonight we are drinking lake effect brewing company's fanny's chocolate cake imperial milk stout and it was added in bourbon barrels yes so aged in bourbon barrels it does look like added my eyesight oh yeah it does say aged yeah oop and it's uh alcohol by volume 11 11 percent yeah, yeah. So this this beer uh, is the second time they've done this collaboration with our good friend Stephanie over at Fanny's. And uh, they actually took, I want to say, seven or eight sheet cakes and threw it into, I don't know if it's the boil or the mash. Right. Uh, so there, there's words. And you know how I like words. Uh, you are a good reader. So on the side, it says chocolate cake imperial milk stout aged. I got that right. In bourbon barrels. Seven guy. chocolate cakes were used in the mash. Ooh, to create okay. a wonderful chocolatey mess of a beer. <laughs> What's fermented? This mess of a beer was aged in that doesn't CH. Sound very reassuring. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I drinking a mess? Yeah. Aged in CH distilling bourbon barrels for nine months, soaking up all that delicious vanilla and cream from the bourbon aged before. The beer resulting from this long aging process is a rich, decadent. Uh, dessert style beer that should be savored in a snifter glass. Boy, I never knew there was something written on the side of this bottle. <laughs> I didn't until I was looking at it. I was like, please yeah. give me something to talk about. Yeah. Not the government warning on the other side, which is what I saw. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So I, have you tried this yet, Brandon, this year? Cause I know you have, uh, a, I know you have last year's still, right? You still have like yeah, I still have hour. last year's. I'm holding on to that near and dear. Um, and I'm holding that so we can, do that with Stephanie, who is sure. the owner of Fanny's. 
yeah um yeah I, so if we, you've been we, following we us you know that you know stephanie is the owner of fanny's it's a bakery a cafe a, a restaurant breakfast spot like everything and it's amazing and everything they do is Lunch. awesome yeah good stuff yeah yeah so yeah they collaborated and did this and this is the second time they've done this beer uh I have tried this already. Uh, I enjoy it. Um, but uh, I, I was lucky enough to get another bottle. Uh, well, actually, we, Stephanie and I did a, a live virtual uh, tasting on the Facebooks uh, with Clint. And um, it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. We tried a whole bunch of beers. And this was the final beer that we drank. And uh, because Stephanie and I did this together, uh, we kept one of the bottles and only split one of them. The other beers can, we drank, though. <laughs> can I tell you of an erroneous error that I see on the bottle? Oh, so under the whole description, it's got the Lake Effect logo, the Fanny's logo, and then it's got a map of both locations, and it shows the old Fanny spot. Oopsie! Oopsie! <laughs> well, it makes sense because that was probably the. I guess they they probably use the same uh, artwork Label, from the yeah. last one, yeah. But yeah, well, oh well, they're not in the same spot, but they're not too far away from each other. Uh, they're just a little bit further, no longer down. No, much, but I just, I just saw that and I was like, wait, that's not right. <laughs> that's funny. Um, all right, so yeah, this is a bourbon barrel aged stout, an imperial milk stout, uh, and uh, right off the bat, I, you know, I, I've opened up my bottle uh, for a little while ago, let it sit, and the first thing I get from this is the aroma. And the aroma is just rich, chocolate, bourbony goodness. I'm uh, agreed. It's 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 very reminiscent of when I take a first snip of Bourbon County. Yes. No. I I can get behind that. I can agree. You know what's funny I, though? So you know, talking, you know, going back to like the description of how they threw it in the mash. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it goes back to me thinking about like when we do that, you know, so Thanks. for those that have been listening, um, we've been talking for ages, here it comes, about, here it um, comes doing the, uh, doing a stout with the uh, big reveal. <laughs> yeah. The cinnamon rolls with, uh, from fannies, but like that, that's my, so we had talked about doing it like, um, not in the mash, but like, no, yeah, we talked about doing it in the mash. Oh, no. I thought we had said, like, doing, you know... No, no, no. I'll, I guess... Yeah, remember we are going to add the cinnamon buns to no, the No, 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 no. That's right. Oh. That's right. Yeah. So, I'm dumb. Um, no, you're not. For some no, reason, you're I just mistaken. Thinking, you're mistaken. Don't worry. For some reason, I was thinking, I'm like, mash. I was like, they did it in the boil? I'm like, nope, nope. Mash is, <laughs> mash is the way to do it. There you go. Oh, man. It's been a long yeah, that's why I was... That's that's why I was <laughs> yeah, it, God, it's been a long week. Um, there's note, take this all out. <laughs> <laughs> no, leaving it in. Just like all the other things we say, there's an editor's note and we leave it in. Um, yeah, this this beer, and I give a lot of uh, a credit to Clint. Clint knows how to barrel age beers. Uh, I'm not saying anything about his other beers, but I really do look forward to these barrel aged stouts and the barrel aged beers that he does because the, it, the just there, I mean, this Fanny's one is great. It is very good. I love it. You do get the chocolate. Um, it's just tastes great. You get all the, the, the notes. It's not like a heavy beer either. Um, it's kind of medium bodied and, uh, you know, light bubbly carbonation, but you get the bourbon, you get the chocolate, um, a little bit of roastiness, vanilla, and, the the regular imperial barrel aged stout is equally as good. Um, it's just it's kind of funny because with so many you know around this time of year, especially in Chicago, barrel aged beer has become a big deal with Goose Island Revolution. Uh, geez, uh, beguile! You can honestly you can, you can throw a dart on the map and hit a, like two breweries <laughs> with one dart uh, and, and there's a barrel aged beer coming out. Yeah. And I, and it's funny because I feel like this, these barrel aged beers that Clint puts out over at Lake effect, the Lake effect puts out doesn't really get a lot of recognition, which in one sense is, I think it's kind of shitty, uh, but I'm also very happy that I have access to it right away. So it's, yeah, it's, that, that, that's a big thing, especially yeah. like, you know, all those other big breweries that promote their stuff. Like mm-hmm. you can't, it's hard if, unless you're not on your game, you can't get them. 
you know, yeah. like, do uh, I want there to be a line outside of like, if like I, a fact, I yeah. yeah, but I also don't, but that's, you know, that's not good for business. Also, the other no, thing well, and the good. question is, does, does Clint want a line to be out there? So, and that's the thing is like, I Clint is does. very, <laughs> I, you know, I'm sure he would, but like, <laughs> that's why, yes, <laughs> but he's also very neighborhood focused yes. and like, I think he would love it was if it was a bunch of neighborhood people like lined up buying his beer um, versus like, oh, I heard about this and it was going to be big. And I came from Schaumburg or I came from, you know, Milwaukee. And like, although, you know what? Never mind. Like if I was a bro, like, fuck, yeah, come from Milwaukee and buy my beer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's hard to tell, like, because like. But he's very much a neighborhood dude. Like he's mm-hmm. very into the neighborhood and like supporting the businesses, and I love that. So yeah, that's and, and this this beer. One thing I want to also want to say about it uh, before we get back into you know Lake Effect itself um, and Clint what the what they're doing. This beer also reminds me of last week. So as I was pouring it, it's not like a thick, dark, you know, oily, chewy beer. It is like cola color. Like you're pouring it, I just I just did it through the light and the glass itself. Like it's it's pretty dark, but you can see like a light brown haze around the top. Uh, you know, yeah. almost see through. Um, but I don't know, man. It's just a it's a nice stout, and <clears throat> I really like it. And I'm I'm really happy that uh, you know, Fanny's uh, and Lake Effect, you know, Clint and Stephanie collaborated again on this this beer, and they uh, they did a, a short run when this came out of a coffee version that I got to try as well, which is very good. And they Ooh. also did, they did a release uh, of this um, at the local bar rabbits uh, where I got to help out, uh, hand out pieces of the actual cake with the frosting on top of course. That the frosting, cake was oh. amazing. Yeah. The frosting didn't go into the beer, just the cake itself. Um, but yeah, Damn it! It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got fooled. <laughs> so yeah, it, well, it's, 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 it's so awesome. that, that begs a good, a good question because like, we want to do the cinnamon rolls. I'm throwing the icing in there. I, I yeah. don't care. Let's I think in. so. I think we just go with it. We're gonna we're gonna test it. We had this idea. If it doesn't work out, we end up with this crappy, uh, headless oil slick of a, a beer, and you know, then we we learn our lesson. The other thing I was thinking about that uh, about this beer, uh, since I have your attention, Brandon, uh, <laughs> I think um, you know one of the s- tricks that I learned uh, is that when it comes to a big beer, like we want to do, like an imperial stout, we just do the first runnings. Um, we we extract all the the sugars and get that sugary, delicious wort. So we're gonna have to build up our mash pretty pretty big. Like we'll yeah. probably use both of our mash tons collect the first runnings from both um, and, and use that as the starting uh, the boiling work. So I, mean, I want to make, oil. yeah, yeah. I want to make this. Uh, and then we've got, you know, and we got the, we can do a second runnings, a uh, different type of beer. We'll, we'll discuss that uh, as well. Cause you know, all that cinnamon and sugar and shit will be uh, most likely taken out uh, through the first runnings. So, you know, we'll see. Anyways, that's, that's, that's not why we're, we're here. Yay. Yes. Yeah. I'm looking, I'm well, looking no, for I mean, we talk no. about beer. We talk about home brewing. That's true. After I, don't want, I, don't, we, I don't know why we, we want to push forward. You're right. We talk about anything about. else. This is why we're here. <laughs> I think it's because I was so self-conscious about the last one. I felt like we just went off and then came back around to the beer. <laughs> but that's yeah, what we I mean, so I, actually coming back to this beer. So we talked about like how the aroma was very like Bourbon County-esque. Yes. Um, the flavor, though, however. I, I can't say it's not Bourbon County-esque, but it's definitely I get chocolate. Yeah, I get it's hard to say to like, Oh, I get malt, but like there's this maltiness. I don't get any, there's no bitterness that I don't feel is from hops. I feel mm-hmm. like it's a bitterness from chocolate. To me, this is, this is as equal to any, to any regular bourbon County stout that I've had. The only difference to me is the body. And I actually would go as far as to say, if I were to compare this to, Another local barrel aged beer that people go after is probably Revolution's Death Star. Um, it's it's mm. it's similar, especially in the body, because from what I remember from Death Star, it's not that's not a thick beer either. Bourbon no, County not. is a little bit thicker uh, and, and and sweeter, but this is this reminds me of Death Star a little bit, and maybe we need to do a side by side one day. We'll see. 
Yeah, possibly. Like, but I, I'm not disputing that. Like, yeah, it does. Beer. Yeah, it does make me wish though that we are uh, our barrel aged beer turned out better. Uh, I would like to still try and attempt a barrel and do it. Uh, we we were very close. I think we just. I think we waited too long. Yep. And, because the samples that we pulled were fantastic. We even had uh, Eric of uh, Whiskey Hill, former Goose Island, um, try it uh, and say that he thought it was really good. And then uh, that should have been our that should have been our polling point. Like, yeah. okay, we're done. We're taking this the, off. The barrel aged professional says that it's good. Let's keg it. <clears throat> but uh, you know, I still I added uh, cinnamon to those. So we those. Ooh. Because we did it for the Mount Vernon, and that that turned out well. So uh, now our barrel aged beer is cinnamon, and we'll you know we'll give it a try. If we need to doctor it up more, we'll doctor it up. We got to get it out of these kegs, though. <laughs> yeah, we got to do that. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh well, I've got this tincture of cinnamon that I'm sitting on, but oh, the I'm tincture holding... of vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. Yeah, well, yeah, vanilla. But I'm holding on to that for the beer we do with the fanny stuff so yeah we're gonna you and i tomorrow we're recording an episode and actually the episode that recording is technically when this comes out last week's episode with the guys over at ailman uh but brandon when you and i uh meet up tomorrow uh, i do want to discuss um when we're gonna brew this uh this this our basically our pastry stout where we take uh kind of what uh clint here did except we're using um the cinnamon buns yes I want to do that stout, and I'm looking forward to it. I think that's going to be Me too. very good. I think, uh, you know, we'll probably add a little more cinnamon in there uh, other than the buns. Cinnamon. What we've learned from the cereal beers is, you know, the, the yeah. those flavors don't really come through. You kind of – you're adding them to say, hey, I added them, <clears throat> and that's And then cool. you're just getting the sugar. Yeah, you're just – I mean, you're adding sugar, and that's fine. I, I don't really get, like, a cereal taste from it, um, but – it's cool to, for me. I don't know. I think it's just kind of fun that you're adding the sugar to it from these cereals and the cereals actually in the beer. Like, so those are our cereal beers. Um, does it provide the, the flavors? No, but then you can, you know, build the beer around that and add your adjuncts and everything. So, you know, we'll, 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 we'll make our own cinnamon bun beer with actual cinnamon buns in there from Fanny. So I'm, I'm excited about that. <laughs> me too. I'm just going on my rant. About so, ad, ad so if we do like a half dozen, we'll have to get a half dozen for us and we can eat those while we brew. That's what Clark said. Like when I listened to, you know, when we first started talking about this beer a year ago. Yeah. On the Halloween uh, episode with Clark. Clark's not allowed to come. He can't come. Yeah, no, Clark. Uh, we invited Clark on that episode to come oh, yeah. through with us. Well, and now that, you know, he's <laughs> technically a part of the show. Um I invited him actually to join us tonight. If we, were gonna, if we were gonna, if we were gonna drink that other beer, uh, and he said tonight didn't work out, but he had drank that particular beer earlier this week. <laughs> After you know, you know what? Let's spill the beans. We we're gonna drink our props from last year, Goose Island's uh, yeah. prop twenty eighteen, because we uh, have won our allotment uh, in the lottery. And originally, I thought it was just everybody, but apparently not, because I know a handful of people who did not win it. Yep. Uh, so that's crazy that the three of us ended up lucking out, and all three of us getting. Well, I'm also curious. So, so like I, I entered my wife. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and so there was a 40 there was a 48 hour period come to, on you can't you can't not laugh at what you just no, said no, no. but so there's a 48 hour period to claim and they posted like earlier today that like hey some people haven't claimed this what are you doing yeah so i'm wondering if they're gonna do like a second runnings i would assume so basically because not basically but because they've done that in the past and I, mm-hmm. that's how I ended up going to the first time. It was the second uh, email that went out. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. And ever since we got that email and we made our purchase, I've been dying to drink my prop, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we went with this instead. I'm enjoying this prop would have been at this point, the way my night's been, if we opened up a prop, uh, I don't, I would not be feeling <laughs> probably all 100 percent right now I'm, I'm planning on watching a movie when we're done here i mean if you want to bring it for after the final pour tomorrow 
Pump like, the brakes. Pump the brakes. Actually, <laughs> there, there is there. I don't know. I, I don't know what ailment, what the ailment, <laughs> uh, in particular, like drinking. But um, you know what? Maybe I'll throw out to to Clark as well. Maybe, maybe we all bring one thing that we have, and we all. I try have something and... in my bag already. Okay, good. Because I have something that I was going to bring, so I'll bring that as well, and we'll we'll all uh, you know decide what we want to yeah. drink. So speaking of like watching stuff after this, yeah. um. Have you seen House of Blythe? Dan Blythe? <laughs> yeah. uh, Joy, that's the same thing I thought of. On yeah. Netflix. House no, of no, 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 House of Bly, sorry. House of Bly, yeah, which is funny because that's like his nickname, Bly. Uh what was the first one? What was the first one originally on Netflix? What was that called? House uh Haunted House on Hill House. Hill House. Hill House. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was like I did. Home. I did not. I did not like that. So I've not watched the second one. I, I watched like I the know. first. It was funny. I watched the first like three episodes of that first series, and I was like, I don't like this. And everyone's like, No, no, no! You just got to stick with it. If someone tells me I just have to stick with it, why is it? Fuck those first three episodes. Then give me, give me, give me just seven episodes. Yeah, then of well, good content. I'm in the same boat because that last thing was like after three episodes, I was hooked. Like I couldn't get out of it. Um, so oh, nice. we watched it all. So this next one, like House of Bly, wow. um, it's good. Yeah, I like it. Oh, that was it. That's all you had to say. I thought maybe you were, you were like leading into something beer wise with that. No, 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 no. no I mean. Because you were talking you about watching watch something, me. so I was kind of connecting you back to like, oh, thank you. Hey, <laughs> you've been watching this, and it's pretty damn good. No, actually, um, there is something that I'm I'm, I'm going to watch. It is horror related. I finally got. I realized that since I've been uh-huh. married and I've been been a, a stepfather or a father here to my my daughter, that uh, October used to be just Halloween for me. You know, it was always just that's all that mattered during Halloween, but. You know, Mackenzie's birthday, my daughter's birthday is there. So uh, I, I realized that when it comes to October, I don't really get like into the I used to watch like, you know, a horror movie every night starting the beginning of October. And ever since I've, I've been with my wife and and, and, and married, I, I haven't done that because I realized the first half her birthday is the 14th of October because the first half, oh. it's it's more like I'm thinking about, oh, you know, her birthday's coming up. What are we going to do? What are we going to get her? You know. Granted, she's much older. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but tonight I've decided, you know, now that her birthday's passed, I'm, I'm going to watch something that I just found out about on, on Shudder called The Mortuary Collection. It's an anthology uh, horror. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. And it's got uh, one of my favorite actors in it, Clancy Brown. And if you guys are, uh, aren't are familiar with Clancy Brown, you probably are. And you don't realize it if you've watched uh, Carnival on HBO. Uh, R.I.P. Uh, Lost. He's done. Oh, geez. He's been on oh, crap. Now I'm drawing a blank. He's done voiceover work, too. I know he's been on uh, SpongeBob. Um, Jesus. Oh, I really wish I could remember all the shit that Clancy Brown has done, because if, if people heard his voice or seen him, you, you'd you know exactly who he was. But that that's kind of what's drawing me in. I like the whole anthology horror stuff. So I'm pretty excited that the, we drank this beer and I'm going to go straight into watching some fun uh, horror movies. Nice. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There, there, there's my, <clears throat> there's my, there's my whole spiel, everybody about <laughs> watching a horror movie. <laughs> well, great. Good. Whatever. Uh, See you guys later. <laughs> you also been a voice on the venture brothers. Uh, I, I actually pulled it up cause I wanted to see like what he's been in. Like, God, he's it, mainly a voice actor, <clears throat> but if people saw him. So, he, so he, weird. Just fact. Just so weird fact because we always throw in weird facts. Um, weird fact time with Brandon. That should be a drop. Anyways, I watched this thing uh, on, I think Facebook. Yeah, no YouTube actually today about uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Oh. Um, if you don't remember, there was a cartoon. Yes, I do remember that. And there was um, a live action cartoon or like a TV show series. Yes. Yeah. That's funny because that video popped up for me too recently. And I yeah. said, it actually popped up. Popped so, up and I was like, wait, yeah. there's a TV show? Yeah. So the live action cartoon, or sorry, the actual cartoon was voiced by Keanu Reeves. Oh, God, I feel bad. The other dude and George Carlin. Uh, yeah, man. Come so on. They, so they did the voices. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, blonde dude. Um, and then, like, they wanted to make a live action series. That so was they, winter. 
Just so you know, it's Alex, Alex. Whitner. Yes. <sighs> Way to Google it. Um, so they, they, I, I am. <laughs> so they, so they took the actors that they were going to use for this live action series and ended up using them for the voices of the cartoon. Oh. So halfway through this cartoon being aired, they cut off Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter and then put these other dudes on and then like had this whole series, but they wouldn't let the live action series air until uh, Bill and Ted's bogus adventures. The oh, second bogus movie, journey. Yeah. Bogus journey until that aired and got a specific amount of ratings before they would let the live action thing air. And I was like, wow. but I do remember as a kid, I remember seeing that on TV, like the, the live action thing. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. I, I vaguely remember it too. When I saw it pop up on YouTube, I was like, oh yeah, that was a thing. Have you seen Bill and Ted face the music? No, you should. And I really want to. Yeah, I, I will say this as, as someone, uh, geez, <clears throat> when I saw the trailer, I was like, Ugh, I don't know about this. I love the fact that they made it. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. I will say this for nostalgia purposes, for the world that we live in right now, as far as like something that's just kind of fun to watch and it's just positive and, and me being a lover of music, uh, it is worth the rental uh, for a nice hour and a half escape of just kind of silly, uh, silly comedy. It's, it's, yeah. it's it, it is hard for me though, to, for, to see Keanu Reeves, uh, uh, revisit that the the character uh it, it's just it, i it's so hard I, after everything that he's done since then it's really hard for him for me to see him as actually as ted anymore like yeah. plus he's got the long hair it's like well you know, you're fucking john wick and they're, doing, <laughs> they're doing the new matrix now yeah no i'm totally excited about that i'm very happy that there's going to be a fourth matrix i don't care what anybody says here we go tony's rant haven't had one in a while here's my rant if you didn't like all three Matrix movies, sucks to be you. Guess what? They were good. The trilogy was good. It ended the way it should have. Was it a little cheesy at times and maybe a little, I don't know, convoluted, a little, you know, oversaturated with what they were trying to do with the story? Fine. But at the end of the day, it did not suck. So I think we've segued into our video series like, dude, there's a new Dexter coming out and Dexter sucked when it ended. Like, oh, yeah, totally. But I'm, there's a new I'm Dexter coming out. I'm OK with that. I just yeah, had no, to oh my. my wife. I am super excited to see what they do with that shit end of a story and where they take it. OK, here we go. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen Dexter, stop listening right now he's a serial killer (laughs) here we go three two one the way it ended with showing the final scene of him in the cabin looking like a lumberjack would have been a perfectly fine ending had everything leading up to that not sucked for those three seasons beforehand yes now there were some good parts after the John Lithgow storyline of the Trinity killer. But there was also just the whole, really it's the whole last season that was just garbage. The whole, like in the way that Deb dies and, you know, it takes her out to the sea. It just, Jesus Christ. It just could have played out so much better. And I say, I am totally proud of you for me dropping this Dexter bomb and you just, taken and running oh, with it go like, with it man i fucking love that show when it was no, dude, <laughs> so did I. And like and i was a latecomer and when it ended i, I was just like yeah. so were we like wtf mate like why <laughs> that was a great reference by the way if you are our age you got that reference um so but anyway so so dexter aside so talk one last thing before we carry on our movie references um Mm -hmm. there is this rumor and i think it's confirmed of michael keaton coming back for batman while to as of today there is a batman moving filming downtown with robert pattinson yeah michael keaton is going to be returning as batman 
for another movie. You know what? I I love Batman movies. So here's my rant. I love Batman movies. Like, I don't know why I've always just connected to them. Uh And like Val Kilmer was okay. George Clooney was like, nah, he was Mm -hmm. like, you know, Hey, I'm here to like have sex with you. Whatever. (laughs) (laughs) That's what it felt like. But anyways, like, dude, Michael Keaton. And I guess it's just like stringing at my childhood heart. Like, he was the original Batman and knowing that he may come back to this just weird, like enterprise, like, and like, I just, I hate that they keep changing Batman's all the time. Like they change Spider-Man's. All the, like I would have been fine with, uh, what's his name? Toby Maguire. Yeah, Toby Maguire. I, I almost said Tommy McKeith. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, that means the beer's kicking in. Yeah. Now it's uh, an official after the final yeah. four. Toby Maguire, like being like, Spider, but like, I hate the changing in like within it, and it's all been within like a ten year span. Like, yeah. how many Batman's do I need to fucking see? How many Spider Man's do I need to see? Like, let it go. I agree. I, I I'm I'm with you. And the funny thing is, for me, as far as the Spider Men go, uh, I actually like Tom Holland the most. The newest Spider-Man. I actually like him the most out of all of them. Uh, I did like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Garfield. Toby but... McGuire? No, no, the second Spider-Man. Uh, there was they, a second one? Yeah, there know. was a third one. Andrew Garfield. Uh, I, thought oh, he was yeah. a, I thought he was a very good Spider-Man. He was a good Spider-Man. He was not a good Peter Parker. Toby McGuire was a good Peter Parker. I don't think he was a good Spider-Man. Tom Holland, on the other hand, I feel like encompasses both of those. If they do decide to do okay. another pick and someone else to do Spider-Man, I'm not interested anymore. Unless it's a Miles Morales. That's a whole other thing. I would love <laughs> to see that live action. Now, back to your Batman. Here, I'm going to jump on your rant there. Yeah, wow. Okay. We, really, we really derailed on this. <laughs> totally. Uh, I, I'm, I am like you. I've, Batman is my favorite superhero. I just... Love the bat, uh, which is 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 weird because he really doesn't have superpowers. He could fix all the problems in Gotham with all of his money, but instead he decides to dress up like a bat and fucking fight people, so kick people. That's beside <laughs> the point. Uh, you know, I I like I loved Michael Keaton. Um, Val Kilmer was okay. George Clooney was okay. I really liked Christian Bale uh, as both Bruce Wayne and Batman, um, and then Robert Pattinson. I other things that I've seen Robert Pattinson in, I'm actually pretty excited to see how he is going to portray Batman. I feel like it's almost as interesting as um, both uh, River Phoenix and uh, like River Phoenix. Oh, fuck. We're going to edit that out. River Phoenix and Stand By Me. (laughs) Joaquin Phoenix is stand by me. What a dick. Joaquin Phoenix is a joker and Heath Ledger is a joker. Both of them, I think, did phenomenal jobs as portraying those characters at different times. I can't believe I said River Phoenix. Wow. Uh, I, I, I can't remember last night's River Phoenix. Sorry, Joaquin. Yeah. Well, tribute to his brother. Yeah. Oh, they just had, he just had a, a son and then they named him Rivers. Uh, uh, so, a river, not Rivers. Um, <laughs> So, like, I think that that's kind of the the approach that uh, Robert Pattinson is going to have with being Batman is the same way that those two approach the Joker of it being a different way and not just being like, OK, so you're Batman. and This is what you do. And OK, and you're the Joker. And like Jack Nicholson was a great Joker, but it didn't have to be played that way specifically. It could have been played any way. Heath Ledger uh, took it a, a different way. And Joaquin Phoenix also took it a different way in a totally along the same lines, like a parallel, but it being just very uh, its own thing. Yeah. But yeah, you have to remember like during the times, like especially when the first Batman came out, like, Mm -hmm. like that was probably the epitome of the first comic book movie. And first, like good, good comic, good comic. And and Jack Nicholson played it to the comic book as best as he could. Oh, he did an awesome job. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I don't, and I don't say he's the epitome of Joker because I loved Heath Ledger's Joker, but like, so when I go back to like looking at Batman, like, so Michael Keaton Batman's is awesome. 
and and like it, it and it goes to if you can play Batman and Bruce Wayne, and then going yeah, exactly. to like Christian Bale, Batman and Bruce Wayne, you know, um, George Clooney, Batman. Yeah, I, just I, Batman, I, maybe. That's funny. I thought I thought well, yeah, you know, I, I don't know, maybe it's just maybe like not even that. maybe more Bruce Wayne, like yeah, I don't like, know, it was a teetering line, but like so I I feel like Christian Bale. And like Michael Keaton had that good balance. So that's mm-hmm. why I'm excited to see like if he does come back for this next movie to play Batman, that'd be awesome. If Chris, if they told me Christian Bell was coming back, like I was upset when they said he wasn't coming back for further movies. I was like, why the fuck not? Like he yeah. did the job. Like he's awesome. You know? And like, I don't care about Val Kilmer. Like, no, no, no one, no one's upset that Val Kilmer didn't come back. Val Kilmer is busy riding into the danger zone, so he can keep <laughs> doing that. Like, whatever. <laughs> you know, we've went, we've went on like a fifteen minute rant on like movies now. So no, this is good. That's going to be great for the description. I think from now on, the after the final pour is uh, no longer just here. Here's a sample of a beer. It's that we pour one beer and just go with it. <laughs> yeah, we, drink. Yeah, we well, talk about. It. I'm almost out. I'm almost done with the beer. I'm, I'm I'm getting through it. I'm I'm almost done here. How are you on your beer? I'm about halfway, a uh, little more than halfway through. So. Oh, good. I've got like two sips left. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I've I've been going hard at this one, and I feel pretty good. Pretty it's a pretty delicious good. beer. Yeah, and it is a delicious beer, and this has been a delicious conversation. Uh, to to to, and I'm gonna throw in one more point about Batman, and then I'll be done. <laughs> Because you know the way the 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 the, the, the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing hockey pads. <laughs> when uh, the Nolan trilogy ended, I really loved that the way it actually ends with Joseph Gordon Levitt, you know, pretty much taking on the the Batman uh, persona. Yes, that and, was awesome, and I that's. I would love to just see even a short film about, you know, seeing Joseph, Joseph Gordon Levitt being Batman. You know, like, it, that I love was, it. You know, his name's Robin, you know, so yeah. it all, like the way they tied it in that, 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 that version of the story was just so cool to me. And you know, and I, I had thought like as a, you know, a kid, like a guy, a couple years ago, but anyways, watching that in the theater, I was thinking, I was like, Holy Late shit. 20s, early 30s. I remember that. <laughs> They're going to make a movie about this guy being Robin and like it's going to be a spinoff. I and mean, it never happened. I was like, fuck. Yeah, that's, I think, Joseph. Joseph. Why do I keep on saying Joseph? Jo- Joseph, Joseph. Joseph Gordon Levitt got a raw deal on that. that a great and, but, dude, that would have been an awesome. I would have watched that, dude. And it, it made perfect sense, like, at the time. Yeah. But I agree. Yeah. But we Hollywood were. Hollywood dropped the ball. Fuck Hollywood. Fuck you, Hollywood. <laughs> I'll tell you this though: yeah, have you cool, have know. you watched the trailer for the, the the Batman? No. All right, you need to watch it, and then you and then you need to point out. Oh, geez, uh, you need to when you're watch <laughs> when you're watching that trailer. Okay, number one, Nirvana is played during it. Oh. Uh, yeah, and Colin uh, Farrell is in the trailer. I would love for you to point out where Colin Farrell is because you won't be able to. Uh-oh. And I want you to do it honestly. I don't want you to look up anything. I want you to just watch watch the Batman trailer. It looks awesome. Jeffrey Wright is playing. Uh, I think I don't even think he's commissioner at that point. It's just um, uh, what is it? Uh, Lieutenant uh, Gordon or whatever. He's not commissioner yet. Actually, I just I just typed in on my phone real quick. The Batman. It says Superman spotted on the set of Matt Reeves Batman film. <laughs> sort so of. Is that? No, oh, it's sort of. So movie. is that the Batman film they're filming now? Yes. In Chicago. I believe so. So somebody posted a. <laughs> so somebody posted a picture in one of the neighborhood groups. <laughs> And like it was literally like a homeless shelter along uh, the Thompson Center. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? All these fucking homeless people. And they put a and note in there. They put in parentheses. They're filming the Batman series and then like or the Batman movie. And people were like, give them blankets. What are you doing? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, my God. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> uh, 
man. This has been a lot of fun. I'm glad we went through a bourbon barrel aged beer. Went on a rant about movies. Uh, we started with where did what movie did we start with? Did we start with Bill and Ted? Is that where we went? I think that was our caveat. Mm, mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Bill and Ted, for bringing us all the way to a discussion about the Batman or the Batman and Spider Man and the Spider Man. We haven't even talked about the the Marvel movies yet. We'll save okay. that for another after the drunken rant. <laughs> Well, Brandon, uh, I don't know, man. Do you feel pretty good about uh, this beer? Oh, dude, I love this beer. It's a, it's a very solid beer, and if people can't get it, I feel bad for them. But yeah, yeah if I you feel can, bad. if you have the, if you have the means, grab it. If, if you you're, it. oh, sorry, I'll say if you're, if you're in, if you're in Chicago, uh, they they do uh, delivery to you know for a good part of the city, uh, mainly the north side. Uh, cause that's where they're located. I not sure about suburbs, but, uh, you can also stop in uh, Lake effect and pick up, uh, these beers as well. And I'm not sure, you know what, at this point, I don't even know if any are left in the, the shop. So I don't know. Uh, yeah. sorry, everybody who might be trying to get them. <laughs> uh, but I will say this, uh, there's a possibility it, we'll see what happens. Uh, Clint might be joining us for our uh, redo part two of the pumpkin beers. I think we mentioned this, that uh, Brandon, uh, myself and Clark have all brewed our own pumpkin beers. And we did our best to try and get what we wanted out of uh, a pumpkin beer. And we're and, and, and uh, you know, what? Mike might be joining us as well. He brewed a beer as well, which was which was a weird to get a text from him. And the guy who doesn't who listens to the show but doesn't want to be on it messaged me and said, I want in on the pumpkin beer. And I said, for drinking or for brewing? He meant for brewing. So he brewed one. Uh, and uh, it looks like he's going to be joining us as well. And we're going to bring uh, Clint on from Lake Effect. Uh, hopefully. All right, all right, all right. I, I, I need to remind him to save a pumpkin beer for that so we can uh, drink that. He did a barrel aged yeah. version of the pumpkin stout, and uh, I got to try it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I want to so, save a couple two tree. A couple hey, two tree. So we'll figure that out. But uh, hey, everybody, thanks uh, again, right? Brandon, you got anything you want to throw out there at anybody? What we should no, man. Let's... Thanks, everyone, for listening. It's <laughs> I'm happy everyone listens with us being as stupid as we are and doing. Yeah is ridiculous stuff as we are it's so it's awesome that you guys listen thank you so much yeah thanks everybody who does continue to listen to our show it really does mean a lot to us brandon and i actually look at the numbers we actually see uh the listens and everything uh it means a lot to us uh as long as people are listening we're gonna keep on doing it uh until our wives say haven't you had enough and we say no (laughs) one more one more. Um, but yeah, you can find uh, us. Remember to follow us uh, on Instagram, on Twitter. That's the Malting Hour. And be sure to visit the website. Um, you know, we're going to, we got to spruce up the website a little bit. We're going to do the MaltingHour.com. Yeah, also, we, speaking of the website, um, I updated it and I still, if you haven't looked, go look. I put Clark's picture up there. We, oh, need, we need to update Clark's. Bi- well, we all need to update our bios. We're still yeah. waiting for that. So we just haven't done it. Uh, yeah. I'm actually, hold on. I need to go to it right no, now. No, but Clark's picture on there is, is pretty awesome. <laughs> Clark's, that's fine. Clark's bio will be here. <laughs> also, I love the ads that pop up on on, on our, our page. I have a lot. They, we really flood our, our page with ads this is great this gives us money you guys so when you come to our page don't worry about the ads you don't have to click on them they're just ads that will hopefully gener- generate us revenue so we can keep bringing you cooler cooler content but that's, a great, that's a great picture Clark. <laughs> that's fantastic uh and then yeah so follow us uh, on instagram twitter uh, the melting hour brandon where can people find you uh you can find me at bdub81 on instagram bmdub81 no sorry bdub81 on twitter bmdub81 on instagram look at you man i'm really like I, you know and this is the first time i and i'm lying because i just started typing it in my name on google uh you can follow me at asa phelps chicago on instagram a s a p h e l p s c h i c a g o which is basically a s a p helps chicago uh so yeah that's 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 me on twitter and i think it's just asa phelps or the asa phelps on twitter i don't fucking know just just you can find us uh by the way looking at our website your picture and the bios has my name in it which is hilarious yeah well something got fucked up no 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 no. it's not fucked up the actual picture itself there's my nameplate from an old job 
on the dry erase board, which is now in my Oh, garage, yeah. And it says Tony Gulley. That is great. And by the way, we're not changing Clark's photo. That's Clark's photo. Oh, no. no I, I, I was. Did you hear me message him about a new photo? <laughs> I did not. Sorry, Clark. <laughs> That's your photo. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody. Can't thank you enough for uh, this is the beer talking now. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank thanks you for uh, joining. And after a pi- after the final pour, that after was the final pour. After the final pour, that was forty six. Dude, this is our l- longest after the final pour. Uh, anybody who listens to this and you get to the end, if you send us an email, we'll send you. It's telling us that you got to the end of this episode right here. And the magic word is peanuts, peanuts, P E A N U T S. Make that your subject. Yes. Make that the subject. Send it to the malting hour at gmail.com. We will send you a couple of stickers. You don't have to pay shipping or anything. And a coaster. And a coaster. You're right. You know what? Two coasters, two stickers. If you got this far in the episode and you send us an email, we'll send that to you for free. You just shoot us an email with the word peanuts in the subject. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Well, Brandon, I love you, buddy. Love you too, man. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> Woo! Who is the real Batman? Robert Batman or uh, Michael Keaton. Who is the real Batman? Michael yeah. Keaton will eat your butthole. Who is the Wait, you said Michael Keaton's gonna eat my butthole? Probably. <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> huh. Like when you watch Val Kilmer. <laughs> Who is the real Batman? With George Clooney! Tobey Maguire sucked as Spider-Man.